it's that time of year again here on Eagle All Access, another edition of 2014 EMU Soccer Weekly, actually the first one of the season. Coach Scott Hall joining me, and Coach, you've been a week into training thus far. What have you seen out of your players? Well, it's day number five, so we're starting to hit that wall a little bit. Legs are getting a little heavy, uh, but again, great enthusiasm. It's, it's exciting to see everybody back. The freshmen have kind of uh, mucked their way in and are starting to figure out how things work, so it's exciting. I mean, it's great to be back, great to have everyone around and getting back at it again. And speaking of being back, before that, you actually had a rare opportunity to have Real Madrid come and practice on Sakuna Field. Some of the players were able to come out here and help with that practice. Just talk a little bit about what that means to you and your program. It's hard to put into words, but again, it, it goes back to like, the, the. I mean, obviously the best team in the world came and trained on Sakuna Field. Uh, just to see their intensity and um, the way they approach training um, and then having not just the players, but my staff, their f kids, you know, my son was able to get some autographs and just to see everyone's face and just to be in awe of some of the best players in the world training here was, uh, I mean, a, a, a once in a lifetime experience. So we, we really enjoyed that and it's been a nice kind of kickoff to the season. Yeah, it was certainly incredible to be a part of that. And like you said, something the players and yourself, your kids won't forget. Now looking at this season, coming in the defending Mid-American Conference regular season champions, of course, these trophies right behind us. You return MAC Offensive Player of the Year, Angela Voltaggio, the Co-Defensive Player of the Year, and Emily Zyke. So with all that returning, do you feel like you have a huge target on your back going into the season? Yeah, I mean, it's always tough. Every year is a little bit different, and I think the players always forget the last year, and and that's probably good for coaches. We're always worried because any team that you've beaten now has that kind of chip on their shoulder they want to get back at you. So I think what we've kind of done these first five days is just continue to talk about the brand of soccer we want to play, the pace at which we want to play, um, and I think those are the things that will kind of take care of it. We've also put together a pretty tough schedule to prepare us as we get to the max season, um, and good players – you know, that they'll rise to the occasion. And I think, you know, our Angela Vitaggio and Emily Zyke are ready to rise to the occasion. They've done the work over the summer. They'll come back ready to go. So it's now just getting everyone on the same page and uh, keeping players healthy and putting them in the right spots and get things going. Let's talk about that non-conference schedule. Last year it was a really tough schedule as well and ended up paying off, ended up going through the Matt Gauntlet and obviously capturing the title. So with this tough scheduling again this year, I mean, you go to Oregon, go to Oregon State, you have Texas Tech, who's a nationally ranked team at a neutral site. Indiana comes in here. You got Michigan State on the road. Is that the same rationale going in that you hope to play some of the best teams in the country and then hope it pays off for the conference run? Well, sometimes we just, <laughs> as coaches, maybe push ourselves a little too hard. Um, but I, I think it is. I mean, I think this team in general really gets up for those games where um, – they're, they're playing good competition. So we wanted to challenge them. We wanted to kind of work out of our comfort zone this year again and kind of see what we could get to, um, which I, I think will pay off as we get to the MAC and we get into the run there. Um, but, again, until you kind of go through it, you never know. Sometimes we learn by our uh, mistakes. So we'll see if it's too much for us. But I, I think everyone's excited about it. They're excited about the, the big names, especially getting Indiana to come in to play here. And now, before that, you do have those two exhibition contests at home at Sequoia Field. You got Detroit this Thursday, August 14th, and then Butler on Saturday, August 16th. So last year, you only had one exhibition match. This year, you have two. What's the rationale behind that, and what are your thoughts going to these exhibition matches, and what do you expect to see? Well, I think we moved them up a little bit earlier, too. So I think um, as we do all this training, it's nice to get a game and to start putting your, you know, your style together, how you're going to play, who's going to play where. Um, putting all the puzzle pieces together, it's a little easier to see against somebody else. When you're just here kicking each other, um, it, it's, it's harder to kind of put those pieces together along with your set pieces and all that. It's always good to see someone who doesn't really know what you're throwing at them. So I think that was the rationale, especially having so many good teams that were playing coming down the pipeline. I, I think that was kind of the balance that we were looking for. And speaking of what you had last season, you had four season-ending injuries, which proved to be, I mean, you ended up winning the conference title, but still some big losses. You had some starters in there, but now they're back this year. What have you seen out of them in their recovery process? Well, it's, it's exciting. You know, last year you always say what if, but 
then seeing them back this year, it's exciting. I mean, Chelsea Oden, Haley Kansman, uh, Jenna O'Dell, Ellie Tiller, all great energy kids, all players that can make a difference within a game. Um, so really, we, we've lost, you know, four kind of senior starters and you get four back. So um, I think for us, that puts us in a good spot to kind of fill some spots. Uh, maybe not exactly like the players that we lost, but a different and, and good. Um, so all those players are back. They're healthy. They're training well. Uh, so it's exciting. It's, it's good to get them back. And again, it just gives us a different look. Yeah, you lost that group of seniors, but like you said, a strong, solid core returning, also bringing in six freshmen. And obviously it's a big jump going from high school and club soccer to playing Division One college soccer. How they adapted to the change in the environment? Well, you know, we tell them every year you're going to be uncomfortable, and I think that going into day five here they're pretty uncomfortable. Uh, but the six of them have been good. They've stayed with the training sessions. I mean, they are they're going to be six players that help us for four years. Um, so we're excited. Again, the hard part for them is being patient because we this, there's a lot of good players here. Um, and it's tough to get into this lineup. It's 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 very competitive, but they've kind of live through it they're taking it they, they they're enjoying themselves uh so it, it'll be a good group to see over the next three four years here and the things that they can accomplish and we'll leave you on this final thoughts for this season preview what are your expectations going into the season why should eagle fans come out and support this team at sakona field well as always i think it's an exciting brand of soccer i mean we look to try to score goals we push a lot of players forward um you know we've got some players that are really fun to watch they're exciting they you know, our goalkeeping, our goal scorers, they're fun to watch. Um, and, I, and I think for us, we're, we have high expectations to finish in the top of the, of the MAC and push ourselves into playoffs and try to get a little bit further and really shoot to see if we can get to that NCAA tournament. The Eagles' quest begins for the Mid-American Conference Championship later on in the season, but they'll start out with exhibition play Thursday, August 14th, and then continue Saturday, August 16th as well. Both those contests at Sakuna Field. We hope to see you out there. Coach Scott Hall, thanks again for joining us on this EMU Soccer Preview here on Eagle All Access. Thanks, Adam.